So today, tonight, we're, we're talking to Pat Sanford, and it's the 16th of May, 2011. So, Pat, uh, where were you born? Um, in Guestingthorpe. In Guestingthorpe, uh, uh, yeah. In, in a cottage which was called Kemp's Cottage. Uh, the name was changed at a later date to White Cottage, but it is now back called Kemp's Cottage again. It's been, uh. been re... You know, to the um, the original name. Where is that? Um, on top of Hickson Hill. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. On the yeah. North End Road. Yeah. And mm. were you born at home? Yes. Well, yeah. um, Mum lived with her parents. Mm -hmm. My grand and granddad moved there because Granddad went there to work for the Oates family, Captain right. Oates's yes. people at the Guestingthorpe Hall, and. Um, so they lived in the cottage, and Dad was in the the army at the time. Yeah. Um, so Mum lived with her parents, and I was born actually in that cottage. Right. Um, what did Grand What did Granddad do at? Um, 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 he he did the gardening work, a lot of work in the garden at the time, and then later um, he used to sort of they got the farm, um, opposite where Chrissy used to live, the farm there. He used to look after the pigs. Right. And there's an old boy called Hubert, Hubert Smith. He used to look after the cows, milk, milk the cows. Well, I think there was only about one or two, but um, it was a nice little setup, really. So, whose farm was that then? Um, well, I, I, I'm not sure the originality of it, whether that belonged to the hall originally, I don't know. But um, of course, Mr. and Mrs. George Cook, after um, Violet yeah, Oates yeah. moved out, um, the Cooks bought the hall and they took over so um, and uh, it was then on that I, that I knew you know the granddad at the farm and Hubert but it was the only two that ever worked there mm -hmm. they used to uh, cut the corn at the field behind the old cottage with the old binder Hubert sitting on the binder granddad on the tractor uh, it was uh, good old days they were yeah. they farmed actually they farmed at all because uh, that was prior who took over for them Yes, a lot, a lot of the a lot of the fields, I think, originally. Yeah, because that was actually their farm. But they right? ended up with just the field behind us mm -hmm. and the one down the bottom of Hickson yeah. Hill. That was the yeah. only ones they retained, really. Um, I think Pryor did take over several several of the fields that mm -hmm. were actually did yeah. belong to the hall in, in right, originally. Yeah. But um, no, it was uh, good old days they were. What was your What was your maiden name, Pat? Uh, Cooper. 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 Right, okay. mm -hmm. Yes. And you, and your, your dad, dad was in, was in the, he army. Was in the Irish Guards um, right. when I was born. And then when he came, he was demobbed and came out. How long was it that before he saw you? I don't know that. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, you know, I don't really remember. I suppose he came home on leave. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, when he was demobbed and came out of the army, they managed to get. Uh, a small house in Great Yeldon, opposite Whitlock's. It used to be all well, arms houses, mm -hmm. they used to call them in those days. There was about mm -hmm. four or five in a row. And um, they had the end one. And Dad's mum, my grandmother, she lived in the other end one. Right. But um, I don't know really, I, I, I got so used to being with my grandparents that um, I think I kicked up a bit of a fuss and I, I remember my grandson, she got on her bicycle and pedalled down to Yeldon and just took me back because she had a sort of a basket weave thing on the back of her bike which I used to ride in and she, she took me back to Gessenthorpe and there I stayed. I never did go and live with my mum and dad so I always lived with my grandparents. Oh, strange, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but I had um, brothers and sisters. I was going to say, you get how many... Yes, I, uh, there was my sister Wendy, she's two and a half years younger than me, she's married and lives in Great Yeldon. Then there was my little sister Heather, she was born, unfortunately, with no bottom jawbone, which was really unfortunate. Um, then I had two brothers, um, Stephen was the eldest, um, then Michael. And then I had two more sisters, Sally and Diane. Big family. Mm. 
Yes, it was a big family. But um, but you just spent the whole of your childhood with I spent, I lived all the time. You were the only one then? The only one, yes, yes. yes. The others all lived with mum and dad. They originally got a a big, bit bigger house and up at uh, Tilbury Dutch to Clare. Right, yes. And that's where they ended up. Mm. But um, unfortunately, um, my, my third sister, my other sister, Heather, as I said, she was born with the born, no bottom jawbone. Um, and it, I don't know why, but that they thought it would be best not to operate on her till she was a certain age, you know, about 10 or 11. I think she was about 10 when they did say they would operate. There was a new operation they could do and they would put in a plastic jaw. Um, she, cause she, she was a lovely little girl she was. She was the most brainiest of all of us. She'd got a real, you know... Talent, yeah. Talent she had, mm. yes, mm. yes. And, um, but she, it was awkward for her because she had to sort of push food really right into her mouth to, to eat. And as she got older, it became more noticeable and I think she felt it herself, you know, mm. as a little one. A yeah, little, little one she wouldn't have She wouldn't have known. But as she, so mum and dad... I think they inquired and they um, they said that there was this chance that they could put in a plastic one and she had to go up to um, St Francis in London mm-hmm. to have it done mm-hmm. and I remember going up with Mum, We went. We, there used to be a bus from Belgium, Amos's buses, they used to go through to London about twice a week and I remember going with Mum and we took her up to St Thomas's. And um, that was the last time I ever saw her. She had the operation. Um, they said it was successful, but um, she just didn't come round afterwards. Oh. That was a terrible shock yeah. for Dad. He, I think, really, it, it, he never really got over it because he, he, um, he had a, a heart attack and died at forty-six. And unfortunately, we lost Mum at fifty-six. So I lost my parents fairly young. Very young, yes. But um, you know, Heather, she was, you know, we, she was the brainiest one of any of us. Mm. You know, she was quite intelligent. And I think, I think Mum and Dad sort of blamed themselves about, you know, having it sort of the operation done yeah. at that age. She was ten. She died a fortnight before her eleventh birthday. Um, but they were thinking of her worrying because she'd soon got to leave the infant school at Yeldham and go to the to the Headingham school, and, and it was sort of playing on her mind. I think so about they having thought, to Let's go. Get that out of they the thought, way. you know, you know what children can be yeah, like yeah. Um, to other children. But you know, it was, it was so mm-hmm. sad to lose her. Sad time, yeah. Yes, it was. But yeah. um, but they are difficult. Yes, yeah. my sister Wendy. She's married. She lives in Yeldham. My brother. Uh, Michael lives in the Eldon. Um My other brother's in Long Melford. Um, I've got a sister living in Haverhill. She's married, and um, one in Clare. She's married. With so was there seven of you all together? There were seven mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. originally. Yes. So uh, did you go to school in Guesty? I did. Yes. And all the others went to Yeldon. They went to Great Yeldon. Strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 What, no, are your, what are your memories of guessing uh, thought school? Guessing thought school, um, Mrs. Overall and Miss, Mrs. Holford. <laughs> right, yeah. um, Jack Overall, he used to have a garage at um, uh, Mrs. Overall's husband. She used to have a garage at um, Belsham St. Paul's. But yes, she was a teacher. She was. Um, and Mrs. Holford, she used to cycle from. Gosfield every day to Guestonthorpe. Oh, all weathers, all weathers yeah, yeah, on a bicycle. Yeah, yeah. Um, she was the the infant school teacher, and mm. and um, the other one was uh, sort of the head teacher. So there's only two there. Mm. But um, did you walk to school? Yeah, it wasn't far. It's only from like, um, yeah. top of the Hickson mm. Hill. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, and then you went to the Headingham Headingham mm-hmm. School. So yeah. Headingham, yeah, yeah. 
Yes, we used to. And, and did you go to, um, uh, to Sunday school? Um, we used to one? go to the church. The church when um, the Reverend Malcolm Pierce went there. I think he came from Fox Earth originally. He came because when I was really young, there was a Mr. and Mrs. Matthias mm. in the old rectory, and after they left, um, this Malcolm Pierce came from um, the Fox Earth area. And he took over. In fact, he married married us, didn't he, Malcolm Pierce? Yeah, mm -hmm. he did. But um, Mr. and Mrs. Math um, it was Mr. and Mrs. Mathias, and then originally before them, I can't think of their name. Um, Mrs. Mathias still lives in yeah. Guestingthorpe. Still lives in the village. Yes, I think so. Yes, but they moved to the Isle of Wight after they left. Yeah, I met them on the Isle of Wight. Guestingthorpe, didn't they? Um, I met them on the Isle of Wight. Mm, yes. I was working on the Isle of Wight, and I, I met them on the Isle of Wight. But incredible, yeah, yeah. strange, so funny. Old old old. Yeah. I was going up the hill in Brighton, and they were coming down, and that was my thighs. Mm. What was yeah. your um, grandfather's name? Pat? My grandfather, well, they called him Bill, but it was um, William Kent. Mm. Yeah. And your mother, your grandmother's name? Grandmother was Ida. She, she was um, what's her? I think it was uh, Christian. Maybe before she married. So she's related to Tommy Cooper. The, the, um, sort of a yeah. third or fourth cousin or something. You remember Tommy, Tommy Cooper, Cooper the, um, yeah, the, she the uh, some, Actually, she looked a bit like you. She's a poor old grand. Wilkins, she was Ida Wilkins. What was but, her, but what? she came for. Um, she lived out in Cambridge. Mm. Mm. Didn't know that it came which way, as uh, two sisters did as well. Did, so she, I suppose she, was she in service, so that's how she met? Yes, yes, the, yeah, the, the yes, all, all, all that sort, you know, yeah. so then she met granddad, yeah. And what relation was your grandfather to Georgie Kenton? Um, father. Father. Is his father? Yes, his father, yes, yes. And, and Joyce. And, and Joyce uh, was... And Lil, uh, they were twins, Joyce and Lil. You did, I don't know if you don't remember Lil. No, I she, she married and lived out at Acton. But um, they were twins. Yes, yeah, so there was Mum, then George, George Kemp, then um, Joyce and Lily, they, they were twins. So Grand Granddad had four children. But um, <coughs> George was the only boy. And because uh, he's, what, 86 now, I think? Did he say he was 86? Yeah, yeah. he did one job the other way, mm -hmm. yeah. So. He's the last mm. of the last of them. Because Dad, as I said, Dad died when he was forty-six, and Mum died when 56. she was fifty-six. So did did Dad? What did he do after he uh, was demobbed? What work um, did he do? Bus driver. Uh, he drove for Amos's buses at Bell St Paul's for years, but he also drove there. Like, he drove the lorries for mm. too. And they used to sort of contracted to carry and stuff for, mm. for road works and all that sort of thing. And he drove the lorries for um, the Amos's. But and then he did drive the buses on it on other occasions. But um, and Mum, did she work? No, no. Well, she did a bit of housework you know, at yeah. different times. Was those kids with all the kids to look after. She, that was. Uh, uh -huh. and unfortunately, she had a bad accident. Um. The uh, these. It was June time, I think, I'm sure it was June, sort of summertime anyway. And the house they lived in in Tilbury was, um, you, the only way she could heat her water was to have a fire, you know, in those days. Mm -hmm. So even though it was June and it was pretty warm, she'd got a fire going to, to, heat, the, to heat the water and she was playing on the hearth rope with my youngest brother, Michael, and she'd got the back door open and she said she thinks the, the breeze got up, you know, the wind got up and it caught her skirt and blew it into the fire. She hadn't got a guard up or anything and it blew it onto the flames and her skirt went up just like that. And of course, she lost, she lost sort of, just panicked, I suppose. She tried to get in, in the bath and in the end she ran outside screaming and her next door neighbour heard her and she ran down and sort of wrapped something round her 
but it, it, it burnt all the clothes from the waist down, it burnt all the clothes, she, she was badly burned. But in those days it took ages. They rang for an ambulance, it took two hours for an ambulance to come. And um, she was taken to Colchester Hospital, but then transferred, she, funnily enough, she was transferred up into St Thomas's in London. That's where she sort of met this Dr Battle that operated on my sister that died. And she must have spoke to him about her, and because that was him that said, well, there is now something we'd probably do for her, you see. So that was one thing led to another, but mm. unfortunately it was a sad ending in that case. But um, no, Mum was scarred for life. And was she in hospital um, long? She was in oh, quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. I could imagine. Mm. Yeah. yeah, she was quite a long time. Mm. First she was burned, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Over her face. Oh, terrible. Well, no, it was everywhere except her oh, face. Oh, face, all of me. Yes, she, she, she did. Didn't the little boy Michael? He was all right. Yes, he was fine. So it, we sort of split the family up. Dad looked after, and um, we had because Michael was a baby then, you see. So um, Gran at Guestenthorpe had him there all the time Mum was in hospital, so we had him and the others, Dad looked after the others with the help of his mum mm -hmm. and um, but, uh, no, it had some, time, had yeah. some very sad times really. So what about you when you finished at school, what did you do, what work did you do? I applied for a job at Boots the Chemist in Halstead. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Grandad bought me a brand new bicycle because there was no way. Sure got it. No buses then into Halstead every day. <laughs> I haven't got a. No, it was, got one as good it as was a green Triumph I had. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God! It's green Triumph. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a brand new bike. He, he went mm. into. Oh, that was a good bought it. I, I think he bought it from was it Flax in Sudbury or somebody in Sudbury, and uh, so I cycled to backwards and forwards to Halstead every day. Well, uh, yes, mm. apart from Sunday, mm. because it was a five-day week, but I used to get a half day on a Wednesday. Right. They used to go over the bridge and see me, <laughs> didn't you? Yes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a bike too? Oh, I had a motorbike. Oh, yeah, motorbike. Yeah, the motorbike. Yeah. So I used to yes, I used to cycle into Halstead on a Wednesday morning, leave off at one o'clock, go home, then cycle over to Glensford, and then at night. You used to, I used to hold under your shoulder on your motorbike and <laughs> through Fox Earth and Belgium and everywhere. No and help you used to sort of tow me out. Yeah. In the end, I, I, I learnt to ride it, didn't mm. I? Your bike. Just ride it out. Yeah. So yeah. I used to take it out <clears> home myself. And um, used to go to work on it sometimes if you mm. weren't using it, didn't I? Do you enjoy mm. the bike? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, so we. I did it for oh five years was it? Mm -hmm. well, until I had yes, till I was expecting Tina. My daughter. We married and then uh, so still long, worked after I married. You met at um Sudbury Town Hall and how long were you courting? Um only about three. Week. <laughs> <laughs> three or four yeah, about four years I suppose before we met. I married when I was nineteen anyway. So it must have been about three, four years. Yeah. Wasn't it? I was 19, you was 21. What's that? Mm. And uh, yes, we married at Guestin Hall Church. Malcolm Pierce officiated. Well, the sweat was in the choir. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember Michael Smith being in the choir. Yeah, was he? Was, was he in the choir? I wouldn't say. Oh, goodness me. And that will be 50 years on 21st of October this year. And where did you celebrate? Did you go back to your house? Belgian Malta, That's really good. tall. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yes. But, well, well, I don't think we... I don't know why we didn't have our village really hall. Well, that was a school, but we still school. Still school then? Yeah, no, the, 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 the Institute. The Institute, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't know why we didn't have I can't think. I don't know why we never had it there. No, no. But we, I mean, we had all the football teams. Or, uh, there was a, when, in those days, we had a sit-down meal, believe it or not, didn't we? Mm. Did you? Incredible crew. Maybe there wasn't room in the Institute. Maybe such not. a big crowd. No, I can't think now. Oh, okay. well, no, <coughs> maybe it was a bit bigger, I suppose. Anyway, we'd, um, we got married on, more or less, on what your compensation. Yeah, for my accident. He had an 76 accident. pound we got married on. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, with all the bits and pieces. Yeah, with all the bits and pieces, what yeah. we had ourselves, you know. But I had a bad metabolic accident, and and that was the compensation for. Right. Yeah, happened. you've taken me to work mm. uh, on a Saturday morning to um, Boots at Halstead, mm. and on his way back home, he went through Guestingthorpe and was on his way through Belsham Walter to Glensford to play football. To Glensford because you've got a football match, haven't you? Mm-hmm. And. He was coming along and, what is that, that hill? Um, Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill. Chapel yeah. Hill. Uh, just uh, by Terrasons, mm. you take the Belsham yeah, Road yeah. and you've got Chapel Hill yeah. coming down yeah. that way. And somebody pulled out in front of you, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, with a load of pigs on a trailer. Got off the mark at the Colchester and they, they pulled out in front of me. I was like, an hour really. And you hit, you hit the um, signpost, didn't mm. you? You badly yeah. hurt? Yeah, uh, pretty bad. Broke on your shoulder. Fractured my skull, broke my collarbone. They took you off to, you ended up in... I thought I fractured my brain. You ended up in Notley Hospital. Hospital. I don't think it was a hospital at Black Notley. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did like something good at Black Notley, yeah. Mm. No, no hospital. I don't think, there's no hospital there now. But that's no, it's not there, there was, yeah. that's where I went, that's where they took me them days. I was a Mary Rutt ward. I don't forget it, yeah. <laughs> I went there when I broke my arm. Did you? Yeah, it was like that it was an old army barracks, wasn't it? That's right. That's right, oh, yes, yeah. it was. Yes, yeah, so it was during the war, yeah. Yeah, it was a rare place. And then, then it was used as um, a place for, because your cousin went there, a lob sister, didn't she? Mm. Well, TV. For, yes, a TV um, mm. department they mm. had there. Because, mm. yeah, Lob's sister went there, mm. didn't she? Mm. Um, but... Uh, Yes, you had, I'll say you had the you had little, very little compensation. It was a farmer, wasn't it? The, the I ain't sure what it was a farmer. I know that was when we had some compensation. They, they had a minute guilt, maybe all the, you know, they had a minute... Well, you pulled out in front of you, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so I got... Well, compensation, that was still a lot of money in those days, really. Right. Mm, yeah. 50 years ago, 76 quid. <laughs> Buy a house or five pounds. Five hundred. Five hundred. But uh, anyway, that's uh, so. Then we were married, yes, I was saying. We Did you have a, a honeymoon? Yeah. We only went up, well, we went up to London, didn't we, for yeah. a few days, that, that's all. Um, you had a, your grand's sister lived in um, Walthamstow. Walthamstow, yeah. Um, so we went up and stayed with her for a few days. And I remember going to, we went to the Tottenham Court Road Theatre and saw. Uh, South Pacific, wasn't it? Yeah. Like that. Nah. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Goodness me. Ah, did you yes, go to the dogs? Uh, to the Stadium there? No, we didn't go to the dogs, did we? Not that particular. We were in the pub in Walthamstow, we didn't go to the dogs, did we? <laughs> no, we came back with the dog. We came back with the dog. <laughs> we bought our first dog in Walthamstow Market. And that was Cindy, I don't suppose you remember Cindy. No, I don't see Cindy. What was she? She's a little... She's a little grey and... Um, a little woofer dog, you know, a little fairy. I've got a photograph of us. Right here. Oh, yeah. So you brought her back to... Um, yeah, put her back in the cardboard box on the train. Yeah, yeah. That's when the, the, the Star Valley Line and Cone Valley Line railways were still in existence. And we came, because we, you, you, we came right back to... I don't know what it would stay... I think we came back to Glenson actually through Savory and Glenson stays. No, I ain't sure then because we yeah. didn't actually didn't get some dog. So we probably might have not done, but mm-hmm. that was all all running at that time. <laughs> she was that first. What dog. did what did Gran think when you brought the little puppy oh, well. home? Oh, she really had a fit because <laughs> she, she didn't like dogs. She was she was all cats, my Gran. All cats. She didn't always, like dogs. always had cats. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. she got used to in the end she loved oh. her, but didn't she? She tailed her on the lead with she, No, she would she walk, I mean yeah, in those see, days. Yeah. Um, there wasn't much traffic when she used to go up to the um, post office in Guestenthorpe and the shop up there. She used to take Tina in the pram and with um, Cindy, Cindy walking beside her, didn't she? Oh. Yeah. yeah, she grew to love her. And, uh, so, every dog we had was a rabbit and dog, wasn't yeah. So even that one was. 
Yeah, she was, uh, she was great, so she was brought, brought out the team in that one. We brought her back, when we came back off honeymoon, we brought her back in the train, didn't we, in a cardboard in box. In a cardboard box, that's this, right. She was only six weeks old when we brought this her This lady who was in, there was only one other lady in our compartment, compartment whatever. That's when you had the corridor in the trains, you know, and then you, and the box kept moving, this, this, <laughs> <laughs> she kept walking, didn't she? <laughs> so I said to Power, I say, goodness gracious, I said, that alligator, you get out in the middle of the <laughs> And she looked and she, she said, excuse me, what did you say? I said, that our alligator's, well, she's gone, wasn't she? <laughs> she's a mistress, I'll give you a seat, will not she? <laughs> she left the carriage. She left the carriage and just departed quickly. That's what I said to Paul, I was hoping she would. She did. Oh, that's the only thing we produced in a week, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> puppy dog. <laughs> yeah, puppy dog, yeah. We weren't far behind with Tina, though, was we? No, not Nine months of the day in there, enough. <laughs> yeah, so you stopped work then? Yes, okay. yes. Mm. Well, I... She stopped working a long time before then. Yes, because um, I, they thought I was having twins. Well, I was having twins. Right. Um, and unfortunately, in about four and a half months, um, something went wrong and they took me into Colchester Hospital. And um, the... Specialist came round and said, "I'm sorry, but you've lost, you've lost your baby." So I presumed, you know, that I hadn't. I'd lost one baby, which was a little boy, mm. and I carried Tina to about seven, seven. He was born months. at home. Yes, I boy. lost him at home. He probably formed a little baby, you know, in the long oh. room. Terrible room. Really. Mm. But um, so we never had. And I well. carried Tina to to about she was born at about seven and a half months. Yeah, she, she, well, she was, was early then. Yes, yeah, she was she? very tiny. She was in an incubator. And where was that? Where did you have uh, her? Well, it was the Lexton Road Maternity Hospital then. Was that was in the, the old, Sudbury? No, in Colchester. In Colchester. Mm. Right. Okay. But I don't think it exists anymore. I think everything's done in the new mm. hospital now. So. Did so you have to stay in there a while? So I she stayed. Was... Yes, nine days. I, um, I was in there when I had Tina, because she'd... Um, She's kept in there for a lot of weeks, wasn't she? She was, put, she, was, she was born on the 26th of July, and I had her home on my birthday, which was September the 3rd, didn't I? Mm. A long time, yeah. But um, people were absolutely brilliant, because I used to express my own milk for her, mm -hmm. and people that used to could take it back and forth... I was in the whole football team. Used to come over and used to take the kilner jars I used to, yeah. twice a day. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah, I used to take it to the Lexton Road mm -hmm. Hospital, and I had her. As I say, I had her out on my birthday. I mean, let her out when she was mm. four. Like, nice four, birthday four, present. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, I bet it was thrilled to have her. Yes, home, yeah, she was so tiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she had no nails, did she? <laughs> the first time or fingers. when the nurse took Brian into the nursery to see her for the first time Brian being Brian goes up to a baby with ginger hair she says why don't you show me <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say something wrong here she showed him through the glass I wasn't allowed to go in yeah. she went <laughs> I went what colours is there <laughs> so I said ginger I come back, you know, I say, I don't know what baby she's showing me. I say, well, that's got ginger hair. She said, well, what won't you see me? <laughs> she's <laughs> showing me the wrong baby. She's got very really dark hair, isn't she? Yeah, she's mm. black, black hair. So tiny. Yeah. Would you like to see it? She said, well, that was massive, that was. What, the, the baby, the tiny, yeah, the tiny, the little tiny, wasn't she? <laughs> called a tiny Tina. Uh, that's why we called her Tina, really, because yeah, yeah, yeah. she was yeah. so tiny, yeah. Um, yeah. but, uh, I wouldn't believe it to see her name, but there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, yes, she's been a lot different. Uh, she's been a lovely daughter then. Mm, yeah. And she was fine when she got home, you know. Mm, yes, she yes, she had, a, she had a problem. One of her, I had to take her backwards and forwards for quite a while. She'd got a sort of a bone in her foot, wasn't quite as it should be, and she had mm. it in plaster, didn't she? Mm. Had a little plaster, a little yeah, tiny foot with a little oh. tiny plaster on. She only went, but she went down three pounds, didn't she? She was. Well, oh, she was after she was born, but they let me have her home when she was yeah. Yeah, about four. Mm. But it. Uh, so how long did you stay uh, living with Grandma, Patricia? Um. Till she died. Till she died. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We lived there all the time. Yeah. Um. 
I say, in the meantime, I lost mum mm. and um, dad and uh, Tina. No, Tina was well, grand was alive and Tina. Yeah, she was she she yeah. I remember your grand. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. she used yeah. to work yeah. over at, at yeah, the hall for Mrs. Corbyn. She used to work your grand. Yeah, your grand. She was your grand. Yeah, I remember well. Yeah. Yes, they used to both. Both of them used to work over. So they had the shoots there and all. They had the shoots at the hall, and well, uh, eventually I, I used to run the shoots for them mm. uh, at Gaston Thorpe Hall. And I mean, there was Bill Monk was a gardener, and you know, and, and, and things used to serve the dinners, mm. didn't they? Mm. Mm. We used to have dinners in the old kitchen, that was lovely one. Yeah? You used to come on the shoes, didn't you? Yeah, I'd come on the two of them. That's what you were talking about Hugo when you, not Hugo, um, Hugh, is he? Hubert. Hubert. Mm. Hubert. Yeah. Well, he must have looked after pigs. So when he was on the shoes, he always said, tick, 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 Well, that's what he used to do. To the stick. Well, the other people were tapping for pheasants, and they were tapping for pigs. That's why. Right. Yeah. 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 Mrs. Cook used to uh, cook, uh, cook something in that old um, ard or whatever. Right, that's right. Big old stew or something, yes. that was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. We'd have some beer and everything. Oh, I love that. It was lovely when they had you there. Yeah, the kind of ones we did at... You know, a couple of ones we did No, we did, did that no. later on. Oh, yeah, I only went to a few when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. When we were done the whole... Because the, the, the cottage we lived in 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 Kissling uh, Talk, we altered for the two up, two down to a. To as, it, as it is now, yes. Every brick there and everything there we built brick by brick. Wow. Mm. And there wasn't a thing we never done to that yeah. house either, was there? Mm. Did you do it all yourselves? Yeah. We did it ourselves, mm. yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We, no, it's, it's, no, it was set, I believe we. Said, told, said before about lying in bed one with the with the stars yeah, and yeah, yeah, no roof yeah. on. That was that how long was that? I don't know how long that tiny quilt was to complete. I, I'm not sure now, but that was all, one summer, time, all, all one summer. Yes, all one summer. Oh, yeah. That was. yeah, because we did it bit by bit, didn't Shall we? Did we get yeah. rained on? I'm not sure she must have done. Because the roof was never on very long. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good summer, though. I think. Yeah, I'm sure it was. We did a little bit of help. Some help with different, different things. People and did bits and pieces. Plumbing and stuff like that. Well, you yeah, plumbing and different sort of things, you know. Well, I was in the building trade myself, so I kind of all the easier. Did the electrician, the chap who used to keep the um, bells, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, he'd done a couple of bits of work, wasn't he? he done Richard Mann had done the, done the roof at the front. But you know, because you know, we, you know Richard Mann, he'd he done the roof at the front for us. <laughs> So when was that? You, you changed the house. <coughs> so uh, your grandmother died. We bought the bought the cottage actually. We bought the, the cottage in the ground mm -hmm. that was on from the Cook family. Right. After your nan died. After died, yes. Mm. And then we sort of revamped it, you know, into mm. a well, it is today. That would be in the middle eighties, wouldn't it? Oh, I reckon it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Oh, or towards the end of the eighties, anyway. I remember you well, used to come up there and we. Um, Oh, Jim Eady used to come up there. That's the, right. The little bloody Woolsey, was that a Woolsey Hornet, what he had? Yeah. Or one of them? It was a little Riley Elf. 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 Yes. Because we used to call he was a miserable old bugger. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a funny old boy. He was a straight. He was a report. He, 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 done, he went everywhere with me reporting football, didn't he? Mm. So I played, I don't know how many football teams I played for. I, I really don't know, but he used to come to all them. He says, because you come pick you up, didn't you? When I was playing, when I played for Glebson, so I used to be at Hollington on our way up and run at Berrier playing football. So, you know, at the time I got home at night, that was a oh, well gone time, wasn't it? Mm. The but time so, the bus had stopped to look past. You worked on a Saturday, didn't you? Yeah. So, I mean, we didn't see each other on a Saturday really much, did we? No, not until. Jim used to pick me up from work sometimes. Sorry, didn't yeah. You? He was a queer old boy. Yes, but he was, he was, he was, he was very fond boy. of us and he was very fond of Tina. Yeah, he? he was very fond mm. of Tina, yeah. Mm. He probably he never married, never married. You know, when you were a kid, you think all that else would yeah. yeah. He never, he never married. He, he, he was, there's nothing wrong with him. No, no. no. But he, he was, was just, uh, I think he was a very lonely old man. Mm. I think that's what he was. If they said he was sitting in court. He used to always man. come over and watch. Watch us racing on a, on a Saturday. It's in the hours. 
sit there every week, wouldn't he? I think it was something for him to do more than anything. Because the first car we ever had was a reliant van, if you remember. Three wheeler, yeah. Three wheeler. Yes. Which we turned upside down and rolled. I like it, I mean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We oh, had some scrapes. No, this it was in. It was we'd been to the Bells at Belsham. We made the way to them, and we were coming back from Belsham. You know where the Swifts live? Yeah. Well, where they did live. Chapel Hill. Yeah. You need to keep away from Chapel Hill. Okay, no, that's what's the other part. Oh, the other way, yeah. The other way. Where that comes down and up. Yeah. Go down and like that. Well, we went down, and of course, in this three wheel, it was. Teeming down with rain. And then no, hit the water see. bottom aqua plane. And of course the, the Reliant with the one wheel at the front hit, mm. hit the, water. the water. I think there was a hole in the road there I actually. I don't know what it was, but just, and as soon as those went, we rolled up the hill. Oh, we tipped over. Three times it rolled over. Scary the stuff. doors fell off. <laughs> All the doors fell off. <laughs> and we, we finished up sitting with just a frame yeah. and a steel wheel. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Oh, and the doors had gone out like that, the back door hadn't <laughs> fell off, the roof. It still went though, didn't it? Yeah, it was still going. Yes, I held, I picked, I held my door. She held her door on, <laughs> and we picked the bits up, we chucked them in and drove them off, didn't we? Yeah, but we did. didn't get the part, we went home, didn't we? We went straight home, yeah. But we were badly bruised, weren't but we? The bruises came out next day. Oh, dear. Just Lucky that's just, all it Just was. remember yeah. the whole thing going over, just like yeah. that. But, um... Not very substantial. Fiberglass. They're not. No, they're no, only fiberglass. Fiberglass. It's all over there. First fiberglass ones. It was a blue one. I don't we went. Really we went one. back and looked, and there was a hole in the right in that I tip. There was a right. hole in yeah, the road, I and I think that, that one wheel at the front went into that hole. And we we've probably gone too fast, didn't yeah. you? Mm. And we probably had too much to drink in them days, which didn't. Who <laughs> was driving? <laughs> we were on. A, we were going to North End, weren't we? Well, where we going to? Yes. Yeah. They haven't given one before they shut. <laughs> Didn't make it though, but there you are. <laughs> uh, I had some scrapes, really. Yeah. Hey. But uh, a... you didn't have the little one with you then. No, Tina no, wasn't no, there. Was she? No, no, Tina wasn't there. No. No. She married in, in, in Kissingall Church, didn't she? Yes. Yes. She, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, and your sister married. No, did she marry? Two weeks after, or the week after, or the week remember. before. I can't remember seeing you getting married, mate. Yeah? Did she get married in Kissing Up Church? Mm. Um, the reception was held at Bournemouth. I'm sure the bloody uh, television <laughs> yeah. didn't invite. The reception was at Bournemouth, wasn't it? Uh, we went to Bournemouth Village Hall, yes. Fourth, fourth of June, I think, her wedding anniversary was. Yes, your, or was it Denise, or was it... Um, Wendy, Wendy. Wendy. That was Wendy, probably. Yeah. I think it was either a week... After Tina's or a week before, I can't yeah, it was remember. Very close. It was June, yes, it was June. Mm. I remember the two weddings were very close. And uh, so, when you when you had a wedding there and, and the same with your wedding, did most of the village come along? Or People would stand outside and look. Yeah, yes, and everyone watch. knew each Everybody, other. Everybody, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes yeah. they did. Yeah, they, yeah they quite a turnout. As many outside mm. the church, mm. probably looking in as there was coming out, giving yeah, out. Yes, we had yeah. quite a. Oh, you know, quite a crowd, wasn't it? Mm. Bowie, that was mm. quite enormous, wasn't it? But, uh, the team was, uh, I remember the wedding, like, when you came, because we went, we, we got made sure everybody got home for the wedding, and we were the only two left, weren't we? Mm. We went, went home in the back of a van, didn't it, a truck? <laughs> <laughs> and the next morning we picked up all those forms, and that's what I remember them coming tonight. Do you remember the long, the, the long pew seats, what we had for the Essendor Methodist, when we went to Methodist Chapel? We had them on a long oh, we lorry. Borrowed, we borrowed them, didn't we? And we went back the next day to get on our honeymoon in the back of a lorry <laughs> with all these suits. <laughs> to take, take back to Methodist Chapel. We borrowed them because people all sat, sat down either side, didn't they? Yeah. In um, Belgium. Things you did these those yeah. days, though, really, you know. But we weren't, you, weren't ever well, you weren't well off, was you? Nobody no, was. No, no, no. We were much the same towel with the same mm. brush, you I'm know. I'm sure you were happy. Mm. We're yeah. happy mm. in, your, in your own way, weren't you? Mm. Mm. Yes. We never knew what Money's what it was like to have a lot of money anyway, no. did you? You just sort of got along as best you could with what you had. And... Uh, that was a lovely bit. That's probably what you don't respect if, as you grow up and you, 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 if you're lucky enough to have a little bit of money, 
I don't really mean... I don't know, I'm not learning the hands. So you can tell you where to do it. pictures there. Sorry? I said, I don't know, I'm learning the hands. I've got a whole pack of pictures taken out of the hall there as well. You should have got maybe last time we couldn't mm. find them. Oh, well, next time we'll come, maybe. But, um, they're they're we'll all in there. So yeah. do, what about you? You bred the ferrets, didn't you? And yeah. Oh, yes, yes. She used to do the ferrets. Yes, ferret. yeah. Yes, I don't know how many we had at one time. We had 80 or more. We used to breed. No end, didn't we, at one time? We used to sell them, didn't we? Yeah, there was a lot of people used to... Um, I mean, we sold all our ferrets. What, what was the chap from um, Bulmer, Mr Hunt? He, did he have some of us? Yeah, they, he had ferrets um, was that? Oh, what was his name? Um, he had two sons, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Freddy. Freddy. Fred Hunt. That's right. Fred Hunt, mm. yeah. Did one of he lose one of his sons? Yeah, Roger, Roger got it, didn't he? And the boat on. Boat on? Oh, really? Oh, oh good. I think he's dead as well. Um, is he really? Is it, um, Kenny. Kenny? Oh, is he really? Goodness me. No. I didn't know that. Yeah, he died about four or five years ago. Because mm. Roger was ill for a long while, wasn't he? But mm. yeah. Yeah, Kenny died quite sudden. Oh, yeah, but their dad had several ferrets on his people. I think, well, I think mm-hmm. most of the people were out there. We're, our ferrets originated from, from Solly, um, not Solly, um, what's his name, Belgian old, what's his name, the old boy? Oh, yeah. that, yeah, we spoke about him last time, didn't we? He used to live in Belgium. I still hold a record for ferrets and your trousers. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> But so how many did you start off with for breeding? Did, where did we get our first ferret from then? I thought that must have we been... We covered Ollie Barrel. Ollie Barrel. Ollie Barrel. Ollie Barrel. Ollie Barrel. I just got his name right. Yeah. Ollie Barrel. Mm. They were the first ones we had. Yeah, from right? an old boy from Belgian Walder. He, mm-hmm. he used to do all the ferret and around the... We, we went and bought two of him. Mm. So you started so with two. So we started yeah. off. Yeah. So we started off. Mm. But I, well, I'd had ferrets before. But, you know, that, that was in the days well well back, you know, when my father used to have ferrets of his own. Mm-hmm. And when you were more of a kid then, I suppose. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And well, you used ours nearly every weekend ferreting, weren't oh you? Oh, my God. With well, the gang, as you said last had, time. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I used to, my job, I used to... Pat used to look after them. Clean them out and feed, feed them. And <laughs> well, I was in a way. Yeah, you get used to it. It was know. hard work at our place because we never sort of put anything, made enough things secure, did we? It was either ferrets getting out and killing the rabbits or the yeah. rabbits getting out and killed by the greyhounds. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we had... She had a little zoo there, didn't mm. we? Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Goats. So we, all did, we did like the goats, didn't we? They were lovely. We had to get six to eight goats. We used to tell them every day, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. Side of the road. Ducks, geese. Do you remember all this, Chris? Mm. Yeah, I remember yeah. Yeah. all them guinea fowls and all that. Bloody guinea fowls, I used to make a rare bread. You know, I did, didn't I? Yes. Come back. Get up that old yeah. apple tree. Come back. Come back. The thing oh. was, though, in them days, they could run all over the road and they never got run over. No. You never see, you never see hardly see a car, did no. you? No, you never see a car. Well, you can't I, yeah, it, I really. mean, my, my grand sister used to come over from um, Cambridge. Cambridge and they used to come over. Well, Aunt Dory and her husband used to come over on a motorbike. That's right, yeah. Uh, they used to come on a Sunday and stay to dinner and tea, and then and we'd play cricket. Play cricket road. the road. Have an old on that road. Yeah. An old bucket. Yeah. Did you never ever see a yeah. people come over? Yeah. Tin bucket out there and yeah. for wickets, and we played cricket in the road. You know, it was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. There was just just usually the old boys that would go out for a walk on a Sunday night. Granddad used to go out with Bob Cross. Mm. Bob Cross used to live, well, he's, he's a old house, has gone there. Yeah. Um, up where we used to be the shop, up Scarpers Road, well, you were always called it Scarpers Road. Um, but uh, there was a long black wooden sort of building which Bob lived in. Mm. But that was that was demolished, I suppose, all houses up there. Now, I can't, I, you know, I can't believe when I look look up the road there now to see no, all those great big houses. Just, I don't know, it doesn't seem possible. But, mm. uh, you know, it's, uh, my used to have an allotment. Well, where one of those houses stand there. Oh, well, I remember the rocks burning when I first came that mm. way. Yeah, it used to, um, used to go up there. Where were the allotments? Um, 
um, the road, you're guessing for crossroads. As you the Belgian, 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 Belgian Road. road. Yeah. The Belgian where all those road. new houses yeah. are. Yeah. That's where the allotments yeah. were. There was a lot of allotments here. Granddad used to have a he's a lot of men up there. My dad had one in the end. My dad did have one in the end. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah I think That's he did. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ziv Reeve had it, and then I think my dad took it after him. I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What was left of it? We took it to Reeve. He's the one who repaired our three room. We lost. Because that was five guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah
apple boxes up. We used to make a fire, have a fire with all these apple boxes to keep warm because yeah. it would be out nice and snow and everything. Mm. But we enjoyed it really. That was good fun. Mm. We used to take the little ones with us when they weren't at school. Do you remember when when the big storm we had when everything blew down and shut us all in gas and all? Yeah, that was. Yeah. Yeah. Six, I think probably guess, October, I think guess and thought called called it really bad. Mm. Well, there was there was four ways in and out. And there was no way you'd get in or out. I was, I was I think every other tree was down. Hicks and Hill, they were crossed over like that. All just the trees were crossed the whole over. Lot, the that was before we changed the house because our mm. old apple tree went down, didn't it? Yeah. Was that in the 80s? And all the fence. Yeah. Um, can't remember. Walls, exactly. I saw that wall blow down one day. 87, mate. Yeah. Mm. Incredible. Incredible mm. story. We, had, we didn't have electricity for weeks, did we? No, 13 weeks. It was a long, long time, anyway, before the electric well, was, was put back weeks, on. It three weeks, was it? Three weeks. I think it was 13 weeks with those people going down. Oh, yes. Mm. That was 16 weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, those hard times, really, weren't they? Yeah, but they were really good to look back on, really, yeah, in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I you wouldn't, so. wouldn't want it different, really, would you? Life is so different nowadays, and, mm. you know. Mm. Way faster. People did, you know. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's 20 past nine now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes, well. half an hour. We'll wind up now, yeah. It's supposed to be a half an hour, but it's also interesting.